Welcome back to another Keyless Getting Started video. In our last video, we talked about creating and configuring targets in order to enable easy management of various endpoints and using and reusing those templates as needed. In this video, we'll cover creating dynamic secrets using the targets we created in the last video. Dynamic secrets eliminate the need for any long-lived standing credentials. They work by requesting a new temporary user and password from the application or resource being accessed and getting it delivered just in time to be used for a specific duration and then erased never to be used again. Now before we get into creating and using dynamic secrets, there are a couple of prerequisites to keep in mind. Your gateway should be on HTTPS as an HTTP endpoint will cause issues creating dynamic secrets from the web console. And your target must also be set up with the correct privileged credentials in order for this to work. So here you can see a diagram of what it looks like where the customer requires dynamic secrets for temporary credentials and using the target uh, along with the gateway, it uses the dynamic secrets to request a temporary username and password from the resource, which gets sent back to the user. So let's go ahead and get right into it. First, we're going to do a database dynamic secret for our MySQL target. And the way we do that is simply by going to Secrets and Keys, hit New, Dynamic Secret, click MySQL, hit Next, give it a name, we'll call it MySQL Dynamic Secret. And you want to go grab your MySQL target that we created earlier, edit the creation statement, which is what we'll the command that's going to be used to create the temporary username and password uh, and that will change could be different based on the version and the application and all that the ttl for the temporary username and password will be 60 minutes and the last thing you want to do is go ahead and change uh, add your gateway go ahead and click finish and that will create for us and now we see my sql dynamic secret and all you have to do is click Get dynamic secret and now we can show how this will work so we go ahead to our mysql and if we go ahead and type in mysql minus u with our username minus p and then we go ahead and enter the password in here we see that we are logged into our mysql so if we run a simple command show databases for example there we go and that's how we do that next thing we want to do is go ahead and create a dynamic secret for AWS and what we'll do is follow how to do that uh, in the docs here and there are two ways to do this um, you are generating AWS credentials uh, for either an IAM user or for an assume role operation to be performed so um, of course, you have to have an IAM user with the correct privileges, uh, just like we had to have a MySQL user with the correct privileges. So once you have that, you can go ahead and grab the command. And I have a command already waiting for me. So we'll go ahead and grab that here. And what we're going to want to go ahead and do is we're going to run this locally. And the command is a keyless gateway create producer AWS. The name is, we'll call it AWS Dynamic Secret. The target name is AWS Target, which we created earlier. The gateway URL is here, the gateway that we're using making sure that our AWS access mode is set to IAM user because we're creating temporary credentials for an IAM user. And we'll, we'll see how that works in just a minute. And the user console access is set to true because we need console credentials to be uh, given to us. So we go ahead and run that command and we successfully created the dynamic secret. And if we head back into Secrets and Keys, there is our AWS Dynamic Secret, and we can run the following command here to fetch a dynamic uh, AWS secret from the CLI, but we'll just make it easy on ourselves here. We'll just do this straight through the 
UI, and what we can do is grab this username and password. Notice that we have a username and password as well as an access key ID and a secret access key for programmatic access as well. So let's go ahead and log in to our IAM account using these credentials. So we go ahead and grab the username, grab the password, and we are now logged in with our temporary username and password, as you can see. So that is how we do uh, dynamic secrets for AWS as well as MySQL. And in the next video, we are going to talk about creating rotated secrets. So thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.